The Bears offense set to get going. Winners of two straight coming in. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. These are his numbers from last week's contest. Charles, how do you think he ran the football? I thought he definitely had his moments. I did think that they could have utilized him a little bit better, and I'm definitely going to keep an eye on him to see how they're going to use him this week. On second down, it's Salazar, and he'll be brought down right around the 37. Four yards the pickup, first down. For the Bears in 9-2 to start play. And they come in feeling pretty good after back-to-back -back victory, CD. And they were able to tough it out last week, a close one-score game. And those are the kind of wins that pull you together as a team because everyone gains confidence, and they feel like they can continue to get better. On second down now. It's Salazar, and this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. With a heavy set out there, three tight ends in the formation for third and three. They'll keep it on the ground. Salazar, and he will have the Bears first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. Now a handoff up the middle. It's Salazar, and he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 41 yards rushing for him already. A terrific opening drive on the ground, and it's a first down. Up the middle they go. Salazar, and he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. So back-to-back -back big runs, picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing lead. I thought this was the era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. They didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage, and they're clearing space. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. Now a handoff up the middle. It's Salazar, and he's going to pull his way down to about the one-yard line. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? He'll try again. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Chicago. A great effort there. With touchdown number 29, too short of LaDainian Tomlinson's all-time record, 31. And the Bears will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Well, the final weekend of November is upon us. Boy, can you believe December right around the corner? It always seems to get here quickly. But coming up tonight, we wrap up the holiday weekend with the Packers and Eagles from Philly at 820 Eastern. And tomorrow night, we wrap up Cyber Monday with the Steelers and Colts from Indianapolis. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. Second down, it's Salazar, and he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down for the Bears. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and turn his legs for a really nice pickup. On first down, Fields. Throw right side of the tight end of Shaughnessy, and he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. Two minutes gone by, second quarter. On second down now, 
It's Salazar. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. 14 yards in a Chicago first down. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. Field throw complete here to commit. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. On second down. It's Salazar. A five-yard gain there makes it first and goal. That solid gainer will put them on the doorstep of the end zone. More importantly, it gives them a fresh set of downs. Nice work right there. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And he's in for the score. And his spectacular season continues as he ties the NFL touchdown record. He is phenomenal. So how about the season, Charles, that he continues to put together? That's now 25 rushing touchdowns on the year. That's getting into some very rarefied territory. Yeah, it made you and I do a little extra homework prior to this one in anticipation because... A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. Fields now to throw. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. Throwing again on second down. Fields complete to Mooney on the slant. Slam routes effective no matter who's running the route and catching the ball. But when you have a receiver of that stature, you have to be a little bit more precise throwing it. You don't have the same catch radius with the bigger targets. And he will have the Bears first down as they get five there on third and two. That's a big conversion there on third down because they did not want to give the ball up here late in the half. They'd love to take the clock all the way down and score. This will definitely help the cause. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little game. Looking to throw again on second down. Fields, he finds his man complete. That's Salazar. So they'll wind up losing seven on the play. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. Tall task ahead of him here, needing a full 15 yards to move the chains. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Uh, nowhere for Fields to turn, and down he goes. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. So here are the Bears now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. Start this drive out on the ground. And he'll get him a little bit of breathing room across the five to the six-yard line. On second down now, it's Salazar. And he'll get it up a little shy of the 15. They'll spot him down at the 14-yard line. 136 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. First down, Salazar. Tackle made that time by Anthony Barr. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. 14 yards into Chicago first down. That's a pretty play there coming out of the backfield, but as that back, you've got to be conscious of making sure you're securing the football. When you get out in open field, sometimes you get a little loose with it as you're trying to get up ahead of steam. Make sure you keep it close to your body because those defenders are trying to punch it free. He does a nice job there protecting the ball, 
and picking up a first down. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck 50 now. And this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. Now a first down throw, Fields. He finds his man, complete. That's Salazar. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. On second down, it's Salazar. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. And good job of just fighting through one tackle there to pick up about three. Second down coming up. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Here's Fields. He'll be taken down. The Jets get it there for the sack. Carl Lawson able to record his fifth sack of the season. So now following the sack, Fields and the Bears looking at third down and long. Out of the gun now on third down. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Salazar. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. It's Bears football here. They also have the lead as well as we begin quarter number four. They'll run on first down. Salazar. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. Coming up on a second and six. Looking to throw. Fields. That's complete to Mooney. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Fields to Mooney for the Chicago first. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. To throw his fields. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. John Franklin Myers picks up his second sack of the afternoon. A lot of tired bodies on that field. But this is a big play, third and goal. From the gun, here's Fields. Throw left side, complete. That's Salazar. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. A terrific job there to keep him out of the end zone. And now it'll be fourth and goal. They'll try and run for it. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Bears are closing in on a third straight win as they widen the gap further here in the fourth quarter. This defense held out as long as they could, but ultimately the running game wears them down from the one-yard line. And that gets set up throughout the entire drive, doesn't it? And when you put those big bodies and determination into that carry, the end result, touchdown. So here are the Bears to take over on offense. They've won two straight, and they lead this one as well. As up the middle they go. It's Salazar. Give the tackle that time to Jordan Whitehead. Decent start defensively to this series. They've got to stop them here and get this ball back. I like the way you phrase that, Parker. Decent start, but now it's got to be more about the ball. It's all about the ball. Getting it away from them because making good tackles is one thing, but the clock will run out on you. You've got to have the football back for your offense. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. 
They'll keep it on the ground. Salazar. And he is going to have the first down, and that is going to suck the life right out of this crowd. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Now a handoff up the middle. It's Salazar down at the 35. It'll be second down. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as he'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Up the middle they go. Salazar. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. Wow, and even 200 yards rushing for him in this one, and he is drawing ever closer to a 2,000-yard season. On first down, it's Salazar, and he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. We'll likely put an end to this thing. Now a handoff up the middle. Salazar and tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. Up the middle they go. It's Salazar. And he's got the first down as he gets it to the eight. It's a gain of three there, and that should be just about all she wrote. Well, they probably don't need to run a play here, but you wonder if they're going to be able to resist on first and goal. I've got an idea. Let's skip racing to the airport at the end of this game. Let's go to the post-game press conference. Yeah. I have a feeling that the quarterback of this winning team is going to be giving a whole lot of credit to the running game the offensive line. Yeah, I was just going to say the offensive line, yes, carrying the ball has been key, but those guys up front, they've made a